Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you the senior mode on iPhone and everything you need to know about it and how to set it up. The senior mode includes simplified uh, user interface that will be much easier to use for a senior or an unexperienced person. So uh, you can just give them your iPhone with a simple mode. To set it up, go to settings. In settings, go to accessibility and I'm gonna walk you through all of the steps and explain everything that you need to know. In accessibility, find assistive access at the very bottom, then click on setup assistive access, then click on continue and now it says that this iPhone is associated with your Apple account. If you want to change the Apple account, you can click on change Apple account here. But I'm gonna just continue. It really depends on you, whether uh, you are signed into your personal Apple account and you're giving the phone to another person. If that uh, is the case, I will advise you to change the Apple account so they do not have access to your private data. I'm gonna click on continue because I'm signed into the correct account I want to use for this mode. Now you can change the appearance to either rose or grid. It depends on the preference. They both uh, are pretty simple to navigate through. I'm gonna select grid and click on continue. And now you can select which apps will be available in the mode because you don't need to have all of the apps in this mode for example uh, um, if that person doesn't use amazon then they don't need that it really just depends on their needs and uh, note that uh, these apps are optimized for assistive access so their user interface is gonna be different than the standard one so it will be easier to navigate through them and the other apps here all of these are not optimized so they will still be available but the UI is gonna be the same as in the standard version it's gonna only include a big back button for easier mm, navigation so I'm gonna for sure enable all of these and maybe some of those Let's enable calls and as you can see when I enabled calls I get to customize some settings. I can choose who to receive calls from, either favorites, contacts or anyone. You can set up favorites below, uh, so only a few contacts from the list. I'm gonna uh, allow co uh, all contacts and you can also choose who to make contacts and make calls to. And you can also choose favorites, contacts, or anyone. Um, I'm gonna select contacts as well. Then, if you want to set up favorites, either if you have favorites selected here, or just for quicker, quicker calling, you can click on select contact, then select contact that you want to set as uh, your favorites. Then choose... Um, Choose the phone, I'm gonna choose phone and the number and it's gonna be my favorite here. Then you can also enable or disable in-call options like keypad and speaker. I'm gonna disable keypad but enable speaker. Then click on continue and now calls have been enabled. Now let's go to camera. In camera uh, you have to um, choose which mode do you want to enable photo, photo selfie, video and video selfie I'm gonna enable all of those so that person can use all of these modes and click on continue then magnifier, messages it's gonna be pretty similar to the calls setup so who to receive messages from who to send messages to. Uh, you can set up favorites as well. So let's do it. And uh, you can enable tap to hear message. 
So if that person has low vision, they can just tap on the message they receive to hear it. And you can also enable or disable conversation details like dates and delivery status. I'm going to enable that as well. Then you can see here message input, video selfie and emoji. You can enable these options. I'm going to enable all of those. Then click on continue. Then you can enable music app. And you can add a playlist from music. Uh, or if you have Apple Music subscription, then it will probably just get enabled. But I'm not going to enable it because I don't have the Apple Music subscription. Then let's go to photos and you can in include or uh, not the shared albums. I'm going to not include them, then click on continue. And now I'm going to also search for calculator and for Safari. Safari is here and then click on continue. These are the apps that I've chosen. Here you can read the message about emergency services, which are available after triple, triple click on the site button, notifications from apps and privacy information. Then click on continue. Now click on continue. And here you can set the assistive access passcode which will be used to exit assistive access. So I would advise you to set that password so that person cannot guess it, so they accidentally don't make any changes if you want to prevent them from doing that. But you can also give them the access. Uh, so it really depends on you and that person. I'm, just, I'm gonna just set it to 1234 then continue. You can set recovery Apple account uh, in case you forget your assistive access passcode. I'm gonna click on not now because I'm gonna re remember 1234. And then click on continue after reading that triple click the side button will exit assistive access. Then click on continue. Then click on start using assistive access or click on enter later but I'm gonna enter it now and then it will take, take a moment. And now you can see that I've entered the mode. And it's pretty easy to navigate through, but I'm gonna show you all of the apps that I enabled. The first one is calls. You can see it's a very simplified menu, very easy to navigate through. When I open calls, I have only recents and contacts. If you've chosen to make calls to anyone, then you will also have the keypad so you can uh, call some number. And here I can access these contacts to call someone like that. Pretty easy to navigate through all of that. You can choose voice only or video and more. You can go to Resends and also call someone. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a call. And you can see that I receive a call on another phone. And I can also end call. That's pretty easy. Then I can go back and let's go to camera. And since I've chosen four modes to be, to be available, they are I can choose photo, take a photo, standard photo, just one one but one, one big button to take photos, so it's not over complicated. Back button to go back, photo selfie to take a selfie, video to take video, stop video, and video selfie to do that, but on the selfie camera. And now you can go to magnifier. It's also pretty easy. You can use it to zoom in, zoom out. It's really helpful to, for example, read some small letters. 
then go to messages and here you can see that I have my uh, favorite here which I've added so I can easily access it or go to recents or go to contacts and here you can also just type in the message with either keyboard video selfie or emoji and then you can click on back or send and it's gonna display here then you can go to photos in photos you can also see that all of these photos are pretty big um, so you can easily see which photo you want to open like that and that's basically it in the photos album it's not too complicated and the calculator is unoptimized but it's an app which is typically just a big button app so it's not gonna be too hard uh, you can just use it normally with the big back button and Safari is also unoptimized and as you can see it actually is unoptimized mm, because it has these small bars the little keyboard and more but it still has the big back button so it's easier to navigate now i'm gonna show you how to unlock your iphone in assistive access mode to do it just tap 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 then enter the iphone in passcode if that's set and now it's unlocked uh, then the next thing is triple tap here when you triple tap you either go to settings and to go to settings you need to enter the assistive access passcode you can change the text size which is really helpful you can enable or disable airplane mode enable or disable dark mode change the volume and change the brightness or shut down your phone then you can go back you can go to emergency so you can make an emergency call and that this doesn't require the password or you can click on exit assistive access then enter the assistive access password and it will and it will exit the assistive access and this is basically everything about senior mode on iphone that's all for today don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time